everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's the Maniology Forever Yours Stamping Starter Kit. Sorry it is a longer video, but I hope that you enjoy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, as well as leave a comment and let me know if this type of video is something that you would like to see more in the future. Okay, so this is the Maniology Forever Young stamping starter kit and I have taken a peek because I just wanted to see but I want to show you that it has the two stamping plates let me see if I can go whoops wrong way sandy there we go two stamping plates which I have to pull the plastic off of they give you a scraper card an icicle stamper which I'll get out in a second and two polishes now these ones are called oh well it's bam white and then Indicon, which I'm guessing is a play on indigo. Um, really pretty, and it's got this the sticker right there, so I will be stamping something on there to show what it looks like. And I already have another white open, so instead of opening this one up, hold on. Jewels, not tools, Sandy. Jewels, not tools. I'm just going to pull this out. It'll dump out if I did that, but you know what? That's just what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm not going to open that white because I already have another white open. And I'm going to pull out the stamper. Really, I am. Now, a lot of people are having trouble with these stampers, and I don't have trouble with these stampers. I have trouble getting things out of boxes, but I don't have trouble with stampers. Um, I don't do what Maniology says, and that's to wash the stamper in um, soap and water. I've never seen fit to do it. Um, it's never needed to be done for me. I usually just take, I'm using scotch tape this time, not sponsored. Um, I usually just take some gift tape. I do this a few times. Oops, let's do that in the camera angle, Sandy. Yeah. I just take it and do that throughout the tape. Or I will use, now that I have it, my um, Maniology. Uh, stamping oh gosh it's got a name I'm having one of those days I love this thing so I'm going to get the name for you and put it on the screen when I'm doing my editing because I don't want to start this all over again <clears throat> anyways I will take this peel off like it says now these come off completely so if you don't want the book sitting there you don't have to have it there you can just take it out but I will take that where it says peel and go like that and that will do it. Now I usually keep that off to the side. Um, the instructions that are in here, like I said, they say to gently clean your stamper the first time by using some soap and water. I do not. Um, I prep it just with some tape. Um, to remove polish after stamping, I use that stamping pad from Maniology. And I also use tape to take off extra images I don't want. So I'm gonna get all set up here and then I will come back. You would think I was set up. <laughs> but as you can see, I do use my Ice Cube Stamper all the time. I've used this one so much that I have taken off the writing. So these are my go-to stampers. They really are. Um, I love them. So we are gonna use the new one though so that I can show you. Like I said, I don't wanna open this new white polish. So I am gonna pull my already open one out because I do want to do this Manny using the Maniology products. I also have out, I don't know why I said I was going to get set up because I am set up, I have my calcium rich base coat that I'm going to use and I don't have the glossy fast dry so we are, I have the matte top coat from them so we're going to use that to show how this works. Um, I have an, lots of glossy top coats and until I get I, I just haven't ordered the Maniology one yet. I think I have one coming. Too. Anyways, all right, so to prep my nail, I am going to just quickly wipe <coughs> some uh, nail polish remover. What I like to do to prep, because obviously I don't want to put um, nail polish on oiled fingernails, I just take some nail polish remover and quickly wipe them off. Um, I do want the oil around my cuticle, and I'll show you why after, so I'm just taking that off. And I'm going to grab my base coat, 
which is the calcium rich base coat from Maniology. And we're just going to put that on. Just like you would any base coat, and you can use whatever base coat you want. I just happen to think that if I'm going to show you this, I'm going to try and use as many Maniology products as possible. So I'm just going to let that dry and I'll be back once it's dry. Okay, so I am going to do most of the nails in Indicom, and I am going to do a feature nail. Mm, there, I'm just going to put that there so I know where to put my hand. You can see that doesn't help. I am going to do one nail in white. Yes, I have other white polishes, but I want to show that you can use this um, kit and you don't need anything other than your base and top coat. And then I'm going to do your thumbnail on camera. Thumbnail camera. It's never easy. I might not need a second coat for this if I do it right, not like when I did the white there. I will get that off after. It's harder for me when I'm filming because I can't see. I need new glasses. Wow. I say that every video. You just don't hear it because I usually voice over. And then we'll do this one. And then I will do some cleanup. What I am going to do though is put a little bit, another coat of white because I really want this white to be opaque and not streaky. And because it's stamping polish, it dries really, really fast. So, yes, all of Maniology stamping polishes can be used as a nail enamel as well. Okay, I'm going to do some cleanup and then come back to do some stamping. I also wanted to show you, um, for cuticle protector, I cannot use liquid latex because I'm allergic to it. So I actually use the Maniology, well, it says BMC on there, but it doesn't everything Half Maniology have BMC on all of my stuff. Um, I use their Manny Mask. It is latex free and it works the same way. Now the reason I oil up my cuticles so much when I do prep, and this is my bottle I'm currently trying to use up, is because um, I have very dry skin and if I don't oil up my cuticles before I get started, <clears throat> then I have issues with um, it peeling off. So I found that if I give myself a good oil right before I start my polish and then just wipe off my nail beds, I can get my Manny Mask off no problem. And it never hurts to continue to do that. Now the other thing I need to show you is that we do have to take the blue plastic protector off. I just go to a corner where there's really not much going on and use my tweezers because I've really, well, shouldn't use your nails as tools anyways, I keep hearing. Um, but. Uh, it helps <clears throat> me pick up the corners because I have such short nails. So, and yes, I have put a paper towel down because I'm a really messy stamper. So I'm going to use this plate M13, M13, whatever we want to call it, and the M12, M012 for my stamping because there's different things that you can do. Um, live, laugh, love. These sayings right here were actually what was on our, my husband's and my wedding invitations, so I'm probably going to try and put that onto one of my nails. If it'll fit, my nails are very short. I had to think about that for a second. Sorry about the reflection of my ring light. Now there's lots of things that you can use in here. Let me see if I can try and not have a light reflection in there. Uh, well, if you don't have the light reflection, you can't see anything. Um, so there's the live, laugh, love. You can do a full nail. You can just do little things on it. So there's some eyes you can build up. This one's got some full nail geometric designs, stars, um, some ideas for either the base of your nail or the tip of your nail. I'm going to keep it pretty simple, although I really do like that. We're, we're going to see what I'm going to do. You never know with me. It's it's always whatever strikes my fancy. I am going to turn these so that I can see them, but I really want to use, because, you know, it's Valentine's coming up, 
I want to use the full nails, but what I'm going to do first is grab this one. Got my tape, got my stamper. Okay, so that's the new stamper I showed you. See, it still has the name on it. I've got my scotch tape. I've got that. I've got, oh, I know what I don't have. I don't have a cotton ball to clean my plate with. Apparently, I gotta fill my cotton balls. Okay, so I've got my grabber, got my cotton ball. I wanna stamp the lid. So I'm gonna use a pretty full design for that. It's not one I'm gonna use right now for my nail, but I want to show you. So I put a line of polish. Oh, where's my grabber? There's my scraper. I hide the scrapers on myself. So then I'm just gonna take, a, I didn't put enough polish on there. That's one thing. And then a roll. And you see how easy that came up? I know a lot of people are having trouble with these ice cube stampers, and I don't. So I wanted to help you out. So now I'm just gonna stamp on that lid. I didn't push down properly, that was me, not the thing, because the things, but anyways. Cleaned it off in my little book, but that just shows you what you do on top of the stamper to see how it stamps on various colors. It's gonna look very good on the white. So now I'm gonna clean that with some acetone using my cotton ball and I'm going to move that plate because I'm actually going to use probably this one for the whole thing. So I definitely want to put this one. So as you can see I'm putting more polish on there because I want to get the full nail. Go like this. This is why I use paper towel. Then roll take off anything I don't need, although really my nail's so short it'll take care of that myself, but I, I don't need the maniology name or any of that. And you can do that on your pad too, I just find it easier to do there. Okay, so let's see, can we see what I'm doing here? We're going to go with that, and then I'm just going to push it down, rock it from side to side. Anything that's not down, or just to make sure everything's down, I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean off my stamper so it's all clean. I did that on, I'm going to just pull that page out and we'll just put it up here. I'm just going to peel the top right off of it. But this also, just so you know, is, is a place that you can just practice. And then I could stamp the white on there to see how it looked. I'm just going to put that over there now though. Okay, so that is probably all I'm going to do with this color unless I have to fix something. But what I also do, and just to keep your polishes looking great, I highly recommend, and an esthetician actually taught me this, I am not one, so, to wipe off your bottles before you cap them so everything stays fresh. So, now we're going to clean the plate with our little And those sound effects are required, by the way, just so you know. Okay, now I'm gonna play with Live, Laugh, Love, but can I get it all? Ah! Oh, that happens with liquid latex too, by the way. Oh, it's a good thing I'm only going to do live, laugh, love on those nails. I'm actually just going to do... Oops, I might as well just pull that off. See how easy that came off because I did oil those nails? Um, although I just kind of really screwed up. And it makes your cleanup so much easier. Okay, so when I'm not trying to, you know, do things and show things, so now I'm going to do live, laugh, love you know what, I'm going to do it on these three, and then I'll do something, I'll probably do this on my thumb. So yeah, let's do that first then. Let's do that one on the thumb. So lots of polish, don't be shy. Just a quick scrape. I'm trying to be all fancy. Let's see if I got that one right. Yep. Now my thumbnail. Just going to push it down, and I didn't center it right, so... Oops, I boo-booed. I didn't put a top coat on here before I stamped, which is something I usually do. So otherwise I, I would try to re-stamp that by using some tape to get that up. But we're gonna leave it because I did not do that. So we're just gonna leave it. I really should do things where I can see them. So for that, on that note, oh, gotta turn my cotton ball over. There we go. So now I'm going to do Live, Laugh, Love. So Live is going to go on my index finger. I like these lines. I can use that for lots of... Oh, I just mushed my polish. 
So because I only want live, so I hold my plate down too, by the way. I do a roll, but see how much all that other stuff came up with it? That's where the gift wrap tape really comes in handy. So I'm just gonna take it, go like that, move my plate out of the way, and we're gonna go right in the center of the nail, as center as I can be. Live, clean off that, sorry about my hand. And I'm just gonna go straight to laugh because I don't need to clean that one up just yet. I'm gonna scrape towards me because that's easier for me. Go like that. Take my gift wrap tape and get the excess off. Do laugh. Which I'm sure many much better nail artists are doing right now. <laughs> Watching me love. I always wipe my scraper off, so. See, just a roll. You can also use your other finger. Then you get to clean it up. And love. There we go. So we did live, left, love, and I have hearts. So I'm going to do some cleanup, and then I'll come back to top coat. Oh, and I better clean my plate. Okay, so now I am going to take my Maniology matte top coat and we're gonna really ignore that thumbnail but I am gonna top coat it after. So now a lot of people say they smear their stamping so I'm going to show you the floating technique. If you don't know you just have to be really careful not to drag your brush because dragging the brush across will smear it. So sometimes maybe it looks like you're doing it a little goopy but you want to make sure that your brush does not drag on that stamping polish. So you really, it's called floating because you are floating the brush across the top. Once this dries to its mat, I will see where areas I missed with the top coat and go in. Oh, let's give that a little clean. Hold on. Kind of goofy there because I can't see what I'm doing. Usually in my videos, I only show one nail, but I'm showing them all today. Okay, so is there any shiny areas that I need to take care of? I don't know, but I have a little bit of a messy line there. And they way to clean that up. And there you have. That is a manicure using the Forever Young Starter Kit and just a top coat and a base coat. And uh, there we go. That is my finished finished manicure. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did if you could please go down and hit that like button as well as subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Eventually I will have a schedule. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.